are you dating anyone? Nope, I'm totally single. I'm not really dating anyone in particular right now, so. Or nothing, nobody to brag about, let's just put it that way. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of guys who would be in line for you. So what kind of, what do you look for in a guy? Well, they have to be active. They don't necessarily have to be an athlete. Um, that would be a plus, but you know, they just have to be active. If they're not, then you know, they wouldn't understand my lifestyle. So they have to be active. Is there anything in particular? Um, I mean, what do you when you first see a guy? What, what, what's your favorite? What, what do you look for? Uh, connection. Okay. <laughs> or like chemistry or something, you know? But um, yeah, I think it would be pretty hard to date a techie mm -hmm. because you know he just is sitting behind a computer all day and is, has a probably has a sedentary lifestyle. But you know, weekend warriors those are fun too. So. You How know. about what's your ideal date? What kind of things would you like to see on a date? I want somebody to sweep me off my feet. I like. Where's all the romantic guys? I don't know where they are. Just because I like to punch people and kick people doesn't mean I don't like to be swept off my feet. So, so how can these guys get a hold of you? <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot. Well, I do have a MySpace, but you know I hate getting hit on on MySpace. It's just you know same old, same old. So you know, I'd be creative. Surprise me. You know, just don't stalk me. No, we don't. No stalking. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had a couple of those. So. All right, so let me ask you, um, as you're uh, getting into a fight, you're, um, let's, let's just kind of paint a picture here. You're, um, you know, it's a couple minutes before your fight's about to start, and you know, you're walking towards the cage. What's, what's in your mindset uh, before you get into the cage, and then when you're actually in the cage? Um, I don't know, you know, I just have a million things going through my mind, you know? Uh, I really need to have tunnel vision and just, you know, think about the fight itself. You know, I really have a million things going through my mind at that time. And, you know, when you fight at certain events, they have your corners go elsewhere, and then you're like by yourself for, you know, like five, 10 minutes before your fight. So that's kind of frustrating, you know, because I would want to get together with my corners and, you know, talk about last minute game plan, you know, maybe have a team prayer, uh, you know, things like that. But, uh, you know, a lot of times my corners will be like away from me. Because I have to go down, you know, the walkway or the catwalk, and then, you know, they have to go around, and then they'll meet me at the cage and grease me up and stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I would, um, before my fight, just, I have a lot of things going through my mind. Nothing really in particular, just, you know, um, usually the game plan and, and uh, you know, just trying to find my zen or mm -hmm. find the wushu or find the quan, you know. <laughs> now, do, you, do you feel, you know, um relaxed and focused or do you have nerves when you... Like, oh, you everybody fight? has nerves. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if they say otherwise, they're mm -hmm. totally lying. I mean, there's no way that you you are not going to get nervous before mm -hmm. fighting in front of, you know, 10, 20,000 people. So, you know, uh, everybody gets nervous and if you, if you don't, if you say you don't, you're lying. <laughs> so when do the nerves go away for you? Um, Probably yeah. like once the fight gets started, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you know, once we touch gloves, I mean, then you just have to let it go. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, as far as in the fight, you know, what I'm thinking, I, I'm not really thinking anything in particular either because I'm kind of on autopilot, you know, I mean, wrestlers innate, when they're getting, you know, beat up or they're about to get knocked out, their innate thing is just to shoot, you know. For me, my innate ability is probably, you know, punch and kick because that's where I came from. You know, but um, each athlete is different, you know, whatever you, you came up as, you know, whether it was wrestling or stand-up or, you know, jujitsu or whatever, you know, that's going to be your, your backup plan. Even though maybe you train differently for this person or you've been trying to work on your weaknesses and, you know, that fails, then you go back to whatever you came from, you know, so. Um, the one thing I did want to ask you is I saw in my space page um, some, some quotes and stuff that you had and um, you said that one of your biggest fears is failure. So is that still the case to, to this day? Uh, you know, I gotta probably read, actually I redid my MySpace page recently. Um, have a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> um, yeah, I had to take a week off, it's mandatory by the CSAC and so um, but yeah, you know, I mean, I, a lot of people, uh, I think everybody is, you know, scared to fail and, you know, but the thing is, is, is you can't really be scared to lose, you know, I mean, you have to go in there, balls out. Well, in my case, that wouldn't be the case, but, <laughs> and, 
you have to go in there and just, you know, let it all out and leave it in the cage or the ring, you know, whatever it may be. And, you know, so, um, you know, if you lose or you win, you know, you want to leave it all in there. You know, I mean, Randy Couture, what his, what's his record? 15 and 7? You know, so he almost has like half losses, but no matter what, every time he goes in there, you know, he, he just he lets it all out and he just, you know, puts on the best performance possible whether he wins or loses. And, you know, I mean, that's all you can really do, you know. If you leave and you're like, I did everything I could and, you know, I mean, of course you're always, whether you win or lose, you're always like, oh, I could have done something different or I could have done this better, I, you know. Mm -hmm. I had a fight where I won um, and uh, I think it was a stand-up fight, strike force kickboxing, and I won, but the, my fans were, you know, or, well, her fans were really mean to me, and I actually like went home feeling like I lost, and my friends were like, snap out of it, Elena, you won, and I'm like, I know, but I I feel like I lost because I, I had so many people, so many fans that were booing me afterwards, you know, but it was, it, they were her people, and, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, but yeah, I mean, you're always going to look for improvement, and no matter how hard you train for a fight, you're always gonna feel like there's something more you could have done. Right. So, right. Um, is there any, anything else you wanna share with us? Anything uh, maybe funny or interesting that your fans may not know about you? Well, I mean, I know we, we talked about this earlier, but I have a twin sister, so, you know, um, I have a twin sister, so she's three minutes younger than me. Um, other things that people don't know about me, um, I pretty much live my life like an open book, so all that stuff's usually on my space. You know, I really don't have anything to hide, and you know, um, but um, you know, I'm going to Thailand um, pretty, coming up pretty soon. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'll be over there training for a couple months, and you know, I love traveling. You know, that's one of my passions. It's always very a humbling experience to go to other countries because. Then you realize, you know, like everything you have, you're, you know, like my place, even though it's pretty small, um, I go to other countries and there's 10 people living in something this size, you know, and then it just makes me feel so much more lucky for everything that I have and, you know, um, I just feel blessed and, you know, really thankful for everything, you know, even though I might have worked at it, you know, to get where I am, you know, if I lived in another country, it wouldn't be like this, you know, so. Awesome. Yeah.